All right, all right, all right. Check out this one, guys. R.L. Allen 53 Long Primer Brown. Um, this is the first R.L. Allen that I had laid eyes on back in the day when I turned into a total geek. Um, this was the first R.L. Allen that was on their page, I'd say about five years ago, four or five years ago. I remember going to their page and uh, or seeing an Eggman Mania video, and I went to their page at BibleDirects.com where R.L. Allen has their site and seen this brown Allen and I seen a yap and I was just like, whoa, that's the Bible to have. And then I seen the price and went, wah, wah, wah. Yeah, they're spendy, spendy Bibles, but guys, save up your money and get one. They are beautiful. Um, this edition, I think it's a 2009 edition of the Highland Goat Skin. So now they come in um, a calf skin which has got like hardly any grain. It's like kind of like a church publisher Bible, but a lot thicker. The, the covers are really, really thick and plush. So let's open this up. You get the nice smooth liner, uh, double tool line. As you can see, their corners are done really, really good. Just beautiful corner work. This one has, I believe, yeah, it's got, I think these are different. So the introduction pages are like a blue. I'm glad they kind of changed them. I like this one. It's actually really neat. It's got that kind of German kind of style to it in a way. But they changed them up. They're a little bit different. This one kind of reminds me of a, as you can see the thread there, almost like a, um, a baby book, kind of like that at the beginning has that same kind of color. I love this Bible. This is this and my Claritin are like uh two peas in a pod, I'll tell you that. And go down here. Print, printed in the Netherlands on acid free paper. You get the letter to King James. Um, pretty dark. Red under gold. I just love this Bible. Look at how that just lays flat. Just a beautiful, beautiful Bible. Save up your money, guys. If, if you're wanting a, an Allen, do it. Just save your money and get one. It's, It'll take you a little bit, but it's so worth it. And I am not a premium, premium guy, you guys. I love premium Bibles, but I'm poor. And a lot of these I've gotten in the past have been gifts. And I've gotten some through trades and stuff like that. And I usually... Try to find a, a good quality, cheaper Bible. But I tell you guys, if you're really wanting one of these, don't chase after it by buying a bunch of other Bibles. Just save your money and get one. You might as well. I mean, if you're going to buy a bunch of other Bibles, just save up your money. This paper is a 34 or 36 GSM. I think it's 36. Very beautiful font. Very nice. Flips through so nice. Such a great Bible. Text is nice and dark all the way through. You get three honey gold ribbons. So you will get three ribbons with um, the ones with the calf skin. And the book block's pretty much going to be the same. Alan does change things up quite a bit, though. So always go in there and make sure you read the descriptions. They like to sometimes change things up. Depending on who binds their Bibles for them, sometimes they'll have Youngblood do it, and then sometimes Alan will do it. As you can see in the margin, you get tons of references, a lot like the Claritin. Um, you don't get italics in this one, so be aware of that. The Long Primer doesn't have italics. But you do get self-pronouncing text, and it's not overly done. That's what I like about it. It's not so much that it just kind of drives you crazy. As you can see, you get all of this, which is what makes that long primer so cool. Subject index, concordance, and dictionary of scripture and proper names. So yeah, this is really cool. Um, it's kind of like my Schofield. Schofield is pretty much the same way in the back. Kind of looks a little bit different with the print, depending on which year you get of the Schofield, but it's pretty much the same. 
jump here, you get your subject index. Zoom in on here so you guys can see what it looks like. And then you get your maps in the back, which are your typical Earl Allen Oxford maps. Nice blue. You get a space in the gutter there so nothing goes down in the gutter on you. I love these maps. They're a little bit more rich than they are in the Claritin. So you get a little bit better depth of the mountains. Just love these maps. Seven, you get nine maps. Together, you get the Empire, the Roman Empire. I love those. That's really cool. Index to the maps, and then you get your line paper, which I just now started writing. I'm doing some archaic, I'm going to do archaic words and some of my favorite verses, things like that. So I'll have that filled up. I don't want to write in this Bible other than in the line paper, so I'm trying to keep it clean right now. And I'll use my um, Sovereign for that, since I got the Allen Sovereign. And what I'll show you guys is a comparison of the text with the Sovereign. The Sovereign is amazing. It's another one I highly recommend, guys. So you can see the print difference. The Sovereign's got white paper. It's very white, very bright, and very dark font. So you will get a darker font on the Sovereign if you choose to get it. But I tell you what, the size, the Sovereign's are actually not that big. I mean, it's a big Bible compared to its brother. But overall, as a whole, it's not a very big Bible compared to other Bibles. I say they're, it's big compared to our all Allen Bibles, but when you compare it with... you got to eliminate the Yap, guys, because the Yap is extra. It's pretty much the same size as a Thompson chain. And you can put it up on here, and it's the same weight... As a Thompson chain, so and it's thinner. Well, it's about the same thickness actually as a Thompson chain. So, if you're somebody who's interested in getting one and you're not sure about the size, if it's too big, and you have a Thompson chain, it's not that big, guys. It's just a, it's an average size Bible. It's a great Bible. And man, love that Allen. Just an awesome, awesome matchup with the new Clarendon. Just a dream team right here, man. I got three primers that, one, I don't have to underline in. I got a small one to take whatever I want. And the big one to write in. So it's just awesome. Just amazing, amazing Bibles. Love them. So anyways, guys, if, if you're looking at getting one, uh, save up and do it. I'll put a description in the bottom for um, where you can find these Allens at. And so, um, yeah, just look below, guys, and, and, and do that. Look, look at doing that if you're on the fence. God bless you guys. I love you all. Take it easy. Bye-bye.